soon, my name will echo throughout the land. After rescuing the Emperor from Shun An, Cao Cao leads him to his own capital of Xu Cheng. His control of the revered Emperor of the long reigning Han Dynasty gives him a certain prestige. Elsewhere, Yuan Shu's faction is gradually losing support. Panicking, he does the unthinkable. He declares himself Emperor, basing his claim on the imperial seal he had taken from the late Sun Zhang. He claims to be the true leader. We have Shu province. Cao Cao is next. I'm going to attack Yan province. Prepare yourselves for battle. Please, my lord, wait just a minute. The time is not yet ripe. Cao Cao has grown much stronger since you last faced him. We must find a way to develop our own strength to match him. Strength? I have enough strength for all of us. You just need to prepare a battle for me. Stop wasting your time offering your worthless opinions. Have you forgotten Cao Cao's mercilessness in Yan province? If you go to war with him, he will cheat, connive, and scheme so that he does not have to face you directly. That is the kind of man Cao Cao is. In order to overcome his dastardly schemes, we must form an army of our own that has enough might to nullify anything he can come up with. Chen Gong. I hear you placed Liu Bei in Xiao Pei without my permission. Until now I have done just as you have suggested. But you have the temerity to try and tell me what to do, and you go behind my back. I do not serve at your pleasure. Shu Province is not your land. Do not have ideas above your station. Father, please, calm yourself. Master Lu Bu, I agree that Cao Cao is our sworn enemy, but I am also concerned about the movements of Yuan Shu. He seems to covet Chu province and is making the necessary military preparations to invade it. Hmm. Battle against one so pathetic will provide me with no satisfaction. But if he dares to stand before me, I will not disappoint him. He will regret ever setting foot in Chu province. Master Zhang Liao says, you and Shu is who we must be particularly wary of. We must keep a very sharp eye on him, I believe. Yuan Shu has launched his invasion on Shu province. It appears that he has attacked Master Liu Bei and Xiao Pei. Curse that Yuan Shu! He knows he can't beat me, so he goes after Liu Bei. I despise those who pick on the weak. He will pay for that. Master Lubu, it would be most unwise to wage war against you and Shu at the moment. You do not want us to fight him? But why not? We may have claimed Shu province, but our military firepower is no match for Cao Cao's. If our army is forced to endure a battle against you and Shu now, then we will be left vulnerable to an attack from Cao Cao. It will be Yan province all over again. Then what do you suggest? What we need to do, I believe, is mediate in the conflict between Master Liu Bei and Yuan Shu. That will ensure the safety of Shu province, while our army will remain fully rested and ready to face Cao Cao at any time. Mediate? You mean it will be our job to stop them from fighting? Do you think we're capable of doing such a thing? 
With the power and prestige of Master Lubu, I do. I think it would be quicker to simply crush you and Shu. But if you insist... Come! Let us put an end to this petty squabble. I'm supposed to act as a mediator here? Can't I just crush these bugs? Pathetic. I will end this. You and Shu's forces are almost at Shopee already. That's probably a good place to start rescuing our allies in danger. is to capture that area! the sound of that word. Master Lu Bu will act as an intermediary. What an odd thing for him to volunteer to do. Uh, uh, uh. sound of that word. Excellent, Chen Gong. I am impressed.
here to provide you with aid. Leave this battle to us. <laughs> Forces wish to aid us? No. I have no choice but to accept the generals. This is bad. This is bad. Our forces are divided. We'd better run for it. does not stand a chance against our might! I failed in my duty to defeat Liu Bei. Lord Yun Shu, my apologies. Could have defeated him if it had just been Liu Bei. I'm grateful for your help. I shall leave this battle in your capable hands, Master Liu. Victory! I simply love the sound of that word. Excellent, Chen Gong. Report! Lord Jung Shun and the others in the advance guard have been wiped out! What's that? <laughs> then who's going to take down Liu Bei for me? <laughs> Reporting! All the frontline Yuan Shu forces have been defeated. This ought to keep Yuan Shu in his place. I'm going to show Chun. Liu Bei, you stay in Xiao Pei. their backs turned to us without a care in the world. Now, how can I inflict the most pain on them? Hey. This place has a great atmosphere. But that's about all it's got going for it. Please make a bit more of an effort next time. We're taking over that area. Now... This, this is a disaster! It might be better to engage in mediation talks than to fight on any longer than this. Let's go! The enemy fortress does not stand a chance against our might! This is sure to go around. Excellent, Chen Gong. I am impressed.
Hey. Any idea how to welcome a guest? Or are you doing this on purpose? I need to get to the bottom of this. What is going on? Here, take this. Your hospitality is just terrible. I have my work cut out for me again today. Rejoice! I'll make all your wishes come true. Wow! I'm bored. Excellent, huh. Chen Gong. I am impressed. Our target has been determined. Capturing that area with the fleet there. <laughs> Capturing that base will weaken the enemy greatly! All units, march! Weak. Let's get on guarding it. Our target has been determined. Capturing that area with the fleet their morale. Our target has been determined. Capturing that area will deflate their morale. Shen Gong. Give it up, Yuan Shu. 
How can you not see that you will never beat me? Very well. As a favor to you, I will withdraw my force. Yuan Shu, Liu Bei, I have seen more than enough of your dull little argument. It is time for you both to put it behind you. If you do not, you will face me instead. But very well. I will withdraw. I take it you are good with this as well, Liu Bei? I shall do as you request, Master Lu Bu, and withdraw my forces. Now that it's settled, get out of here. And keep your ridiculous little disagreements out of my lap. This battle has made it perfectly clear that you and Shu is no match for you, my lord. But by stepping in and mediating in his conflict instead of simply crushing him, we have allowed him to keep face. He owes us a great debt now, and that could be very useful. Chen Gong. Was this your plan all along? Is this why you asked Father to mediate? This was all for the purposes of strengthening our power base here in Shu Province. If we lose this land, our dreams of conquest are at an end. I only wish for you to be able to fight with no unnecessary concerns troubling you, my lord. To that end, I must think of any and every possible plan. Master Lu Bu, it seems that Liu Bei has accepted Cao Cao's invitation and left Shu province. In response, it appears that Cao Cao's army is now heading this way. Liu Bei, after I let you stay in Xiaopei, have you forgotten the debt you owe me? Chen Gong, prepare for battle at once. We will show them the folly of their actions. Master Lu Bu, Liu Bei knows this land, Shu province, like the back of his hand. And if he has joined forces with Cao Cao, then it will not be a simple task to overcome them. In order to bolster our own troop numbers, I do believe it would be prudent here to form an alliance with you and Shu. He owes us a debt. I think now might be an optimal time to have him repay it. Join forces with that pathetic coward? Are you mad? I will take on Liu Bei and Cao Cao by myself. My lord, we are here to fight on level footing. Naturally, you would claim victory, but as things currently stand, we would not be able to do so. All I desire is to be able to create the ultimate stage upon which you can demonstrate the true extent of your might. Ha! What a... Father. Cao Cao's vanguard has already reached the border of Xu province. I'm afraid that we do not have much time. We must hurry to you and Shu and agree to terms. Hmm. I will leave the boring negotiations to you, Chen Gong. I will concentrate on kicking aside Cao Cao's army. Father appears to be extremely irritated. He believed that if he had his own land, he could fight his battles the way he wanted to. But the reality has proven to be very different. Believe me, I have no desire to bring Master Lu Bu any discontent. 
All of this is simply an effort to protect this land of Shu province, which is Master Lubu's new home now. I know. I place no blame on your shoulders. I just... I just want my father to be able to fight his battles his own way. I hope that day will come soon. We must form an alliance with Master Yuan Shu at once. Come on, to Shoshun! Hmm. You can deal with all the boring details. I'm off to smash the enemy. Sao hey. Sao's forces! I knew they wouldn't stay away. But I am the daughter of the Demon of War. I will face them. Sao Sao must have noticed our movement. We need to keep an eye out for his involvement. No good. That's why I'm here. To silence you. Our target has been determined. Capturing that area will deflate their morale. We outnumbered them significantly. Victory should have been ours. I can more than hold my own on the battlefield. I have my orders. I am to prevent you from reaching Shoshu. Allow you to form an alliance with you and Shu. It's unlikely who will team up with you and Shu. Put a stop to their little alliance. Allowing 
them to form an alliance as an absolute nightmare for our forces, and I failed to stop it. I can more than hold my own on the battlefield. So, what am I going to do with you? Slip away from me! Next time, I'll be sure it doesn't happen again. That's so dull. interfere with Lord Cao Cao's plans, I won't let them do that. Just about enough of you. Even if it means I have to get my hands a little dirty. <laughs> I am Bull Jia. I should like to face you in battle. <laughs> I've been defeated. I'm sorry, Lord Cao Cao. I can more than hold my own on the battlefield. Okay.
Think what will happen if Lu Bu and Yuan Shu manage to join forces. We need to make our move now before it's too late. <laughs> Cao Cao's forces have been eliminated. Now Yuan Shu should be happy to welcome us in. That was the most boring battle I've ever seen. Come, we are heading for show two. Capturing that base will weaken the enemy greatly. All units, march! As far as Shoshu, it is time for the meeting with Master Yuan Shu. Hmm. You take care of it. I refuse to do anything. What's that? You want to form an alliance with me? First, you mediate in my conflict, like some arbiter of peace, even though it has nothing to do with you. And now, no sooner does Cao Cao attack, than you come crawling. Everything you do is for your own benefit. You really think I'd join forces with the likes of you? We have common ground, do we not, Master Yu and Shu? We both want Cao Cao removed from the picture. Then, does it not make sense to join hands, avoid unnecessary friction between us, and ensure that we each reap the benefits? What do you think? I believe this helps you quite as much as it helps us. Hmm. I suppose what you say makes sense. Very well then. I will agree to your proposal. But I do not trust you at all. As a show of good faith, I want you to let me take a hostage. You are Lu Bu's daughter, are you not? I want you to marry my son. If you agree to that, I would have no concern regarding any possible betrayal. I take it you have no objection. How dare you? Why should Ling Chi have to marry your weasel son? If you keep spouting such nonsense, I will cut you down where you stand. Wait! Father! If I agree to your plan, then you will form an alliance with us, yes? In that case, I accept your terms. But the marriage will only take place after we have defeated Cao Cao. After all, it's not as if we trust you implicitly either. Ling Chi, what are you saying? This is all in order to defeat Cao Cao. Besides, nothing will happen just yet. Very well. Once Cao Cao has been defeated, you will join our family. Ling Chi! We can turn our backs on an agreement with you and Shu any time we want. The only thing that matters now is that we have no concerns holding us back in our battle against Sao- Ha! You're as bad as Chen Gong. 
I want you to promise you will never do something like that again. Come, we will head back to the castle. Master Lu Bu thinks nothing but how to make the battle as savage and unforgiving as possible. Even now, he does nothing to prevent the onslaught of Cao Cao and Liu Bei's forces, and instead insists on drawing them closer to the castle. Why does he do that? Why does he not try and take every advantage to ensure victory? My father does not consider issues of strategy or of claiming tactical advantage. All he desires is a battlefield upon which he can prove his might. Nothing more. I am well aware of that, of course I am. But Master Lu Bu is now the ruler of Shu province. We need him to use this land as a base from which to launch his campaign to rule the land. If he continues to fight, with no regard for anything but his own enjoyment, then we will never achieve his ambition, and I will never achieve mine. Isn't it your job to do something about that? No ordinary man could do your job, strategist to a war-hungry demon. But you're supposed to be no ordinary man, right, Chen Gong? Or perhaps you realize now that you're out of your depth, and you can no longer handle my father? That sounds like a challenge to me. I will not take that line down. What you say is true. I am Chen Gong, strategist to the mighty Master Lu Bu. I will show that I can control his strength and channel it so that we may rule this land. The army led by Cao Cao and Liu Bei has reached Cha Pi and is taking up position to surround this castle. Our supplies have been nearly exhausted, meaning it will be difficult to remain in the castle for much longer. We have drawn the enemy in. We will go forth! I will break a hole clean through this so-called sea. They have such numbers, yet they still do not attack the castle. That's Cao Cao. I know he's up to something. Master Lubu, I believe that we must move with extreme caution here, or we will walk straight into an enemy trap. Why would I move with caution against a bunch of cowardly rats? I already told you, Chen Gong. I will fight the way I see fit. I will take orders from no one. I... I bring news! The floodgates in the area surrounding Sha Pi have been destroyed by enemy forces. With nowhere else to go, the water is flowing in this direct... No! So that's the reason they chose not to attack. They were planning to flood us out! Ah! How could I allow such a disaster to befall us? This is no time to be wallowing in self-pity, Ching Gong. If the castle is about to be flooded, we must evacuate the troops! But if they leave the castle, the enemy will be lying in wait. If they stay, they drown. There is no path left open. Stop worrying. If we break through the enemy lines, we can choose whatever path we like. But I fear that Cao Cao has some other dastardly plan in place to nullify your strength, my lord. Chen Gong, your only duty is to prepare a stage for me to fight on. With my might and your intellect, we can claim dominion over the land. Isn't that what you said? Master Lubu? The enemy is attacking in vast waves! If I can defeat them, I will prove that I am the greatest ever! At last, the battle I have always dreamed of is here! I will go forth! I will show the world what true might looks like!
Doctor can stop me. The enemy water attack has resulted in numerous defections from our ranks. We must stop them from leaving at once. by your skill. simply to show the world how strong he is. He is a man without any honor, and I will make sure that he is punished. Let's go! Now is the time to attack! I'm afraid we're no match for the his physical might is remarkable indeed. We must go and assist our allies. Hurry! The enemy fortress does not stand a chance against our might! are currently engaged with the enemy forces. Huh? Beaten again? How long is it gonna take before I can get my revenge on you, boo? We're gonna secure... The area. Let's go! It 
appears I'm still unable to repay the debt that I owe. I can more than hold my own on the battlefield. Victory! I simply love the sound of that word. Hmm. It doesn't matter how many of you there are. Insects will always be mere insects. Come, it is time for us to leave. Strategic location. I want our formation to be in perfect order. We can seize their bases to gain the momentum. Everyone, charge the enemy swiftly and without mercy! If it's a fight you want, then you've come to the right place. Isn't it grand? We somehow managed to scrape our way out of that jam. We have to hurry and meet up with the main unit. I can more than hold my own on the battlefield. Victory! I simply love the sound of that word. <laughs> Capturing that base will weaken the enemy greatly. All unit... Huh? You can only see that which is right in front of you. That is not nearly enough to emerge victorious over the chaos. You have done well to make it this far. However... You will never claim my head as long as I have my men around me. I can 
cannot allow you to harm Master Cao Cao. You shall soon see the true extent of my might in battle. I'm here to protect Lord Cao Cao. There's no way I'm losing to the likes of you. Time to have some fun! It is important. It seems my might was insufficient for the task at hand. I can't believe I lost. I failed you, Lord Cao Cao. Victory! I simply love the sound of that word. You have amazing talent. Even Shu Huang and Shu Chu have been forced to retreat. Lu Bu is just as strong as everybody says. Shen Dong, you are a true warrior of the Three Kingdoms. Capturing that base will weaken the enemy greatly. All units march! They will need me in the fights to come. Sorry. That is all for today. I can more than hold my own on the battlefield. Excellent, Chen Dong. I am impressed. Capturing that base will weaken the enemy greatly. All units, march! <laughs> Leaving this place undefended is dangerous. I shall see to its defense. <laughs> I can more than hold my own on the battlefield. Impressive. I can't. I want to let you leave me behind. <sighs> I cannot die just yet. Incredible. I am truly impressed by your skill. You have amazing talent. Don't let it go to waste. Capturing that base will weaken the enemy greatly. All units, march! I can more than hold my own on the battlefield. You are powerful, Demon. I will give you that. However, I will not stop until you are dead. Huh. You don't have any final words, Cao Cao? Death is upon you.
sorry sight, Zao Zao. I fight to win. That is all I care about. Sorry or not, it's who wins in the end that matters. And this... This is the end. What? I can't believe you held back this many troops in reserve. No. This really is his actual force. How did I miss this? How could the Sao Sao I knew have planned all of this? Ugh. We're surrounded by multiple ranks. Even if we broke through at one point, they'll just encircle us again. Father! Hmm. So what? We crush anyone who dares to stand in our way. That is how. The army of the Invincible Lubu fights. <gasps> Let's go! How sad. So very sad. I'm afraid not. How very unfortunate. Ugh. Hey there! Very well. Chen Gong had once served Cao Cao as his strategist. However, after realizing that he could not fulfill his own ambitions by serving Cao Cao, he resolved to defect. While his ruler was occupied with his task of eliminating Tao Qiang, he used the opportunity to invite Lu Bu to Yang Province. Afterwards, he followed Lu Bu, and although they managed to retake Shu Province from Liu Bei, they were ultimately defeated by Cao Cao's army. Having been captured, all they could do was wait for their executions to be carried out. Finally, he was dragged before Cao Cao. Chen Gang, for one such as yourself who strove to make his name as a famed strategist, this is quite the miserable way to end, is it not? No matter. No matter how hard I tried to get Lord Lubu to follow my strategies, he simply brushed them all aside. Strategies are worth nothing if they are not put into action. Hmm. In that case, I shall give you the opportunity to redeem yourself. If you are truly so brilliant, I would ask you to prove it to me. After all that has happened, you would ask me to cling desperately to life and return to you as your vassal? I would rather die. Rather die than suffer such shame. Calm down. If such is your will, then I would ask you to serve neither myself nor Lubu, but under a new master. Liu Bei, take Chen Gong under your service. Make use of his strategies, and become a pillar of support for my path of conquest. Take Chen Gong under my service? What a 
is the meaning of this? I think very highly of you. And I feel that the addition of Chen Gong's wit might awaken some of your potential. Chen Gong, are you really okay with this? You would be contriving strategies for me, a mere guest officer. You know me. Know me too well. Of course, I would not be satisfied, as things are now. But you will see, Lord Liu Bei. For the sake of my ambitions, we shall rise together. From here, our next move must be to defeat Yuan Shu, who has declared himself Emperor. Liu Bei, you will lead the vanguard. Chen Gong, do you understand your duties? So I must defeat Yuan Shu, the man I formerly served. Prove my strength and cut all ties with my past, is that right? You are a crafty, truly crafty man indeed. Now then, Lord Liu Bei, this shall be our first battle together. We cannot, simply cannot afford to make a blunder. Chen Gong, just promise me that you will never again form such a wicked plan as aiming to take unguarded territory. It defies the benevolence that I stand for. My, my. This is from the man who Cao Cao claims has hidden potential? Such tactics are only natural. Can anything be considered wicked if it leads to victory? Now then, for this battle, the enemy will likely be weak in the knees. If we can cut off their escape route, we should be able to win without need of an ambitious strategy. I understand. Forget I mentioned it then. In the name of the Han Emperor, we must defeat Yuan Shu. All that I ask is that you fight with righteousness. Ah yes, very well. Now, let us be off. Our first battle together will surely end in victory. Most glorious victory! It is essential to first gain Lord Liu Bei's trust. We must, simply must defeat that cur, Yuan Shu. Yuan Shu will most certainly abandon Shoshun and flee. After that, only after that will we make our We cannot allow the people of Shu Province to be caught up in the ravages of war. I shall remain here and defend. Lord Liu Bei, you must, simply must go on the attack. Accordingly, our first priority must be to weaken the enemy's forces here.
time to attack. Everybody, to battle! No! What's going on here? You base forces can't be stronger than us! It appears that resistance is futile. Wait! We retreat! We'll do whatever you ask to spare our lives! Anything? Anything you say? Very well then. You shall work for us and help us to defeat you and Shu. I don't really like defending, but I'll do what needs to be done. Victory! I simply love the sound of that word. Amazing! You sure know how to fight! Sure. I'm not out condemning others all year round. At times... Sure. The time I spend here lets me relax. I guess I needed some of that. I just have to make sure I don't lose my edge. Sure. I'm sorry for my silliness the other day. I never expected...
Oh my. Sure. Your Highness, I ah. shall protect this land with my life. I will not allow Liu Bei and Cao Cao to coordinate with one another. Down in legend. Chen Gong had once served Cao Cao as Victory! I simply love the sound of that word.
surveying the surroundings.
We won't last very long if this continues. We must withdraw once to resupply. Healing! I am counting on your aid here. I knew it. I simply knew it would flee. Now then. Let us make sure to block the roads and eliminate any enemy officers we encounter. Let's go! The enemy fortress does not stand a chance against our might! We shall defend this position. Do not allow a single enemy through. This area is now under the control of my leadership. Strength. I'm pulling back for now. I can more than hold my own on the battlefield. Master Chingong, we are unable to track you and Shu. Please give us your orders. Orders? We simply need to wait. My plan to capture Yuan Shu will definitely, most definitely succeed. Hmm. It seems my plans were a resounding success. Now then, let us finish off that Yuan Shu once and for all. Chen Gong, I was wrong about you. You have shown that you are a capable strategist, even without resorting to underhanded tactics. I shall continue to rely on your support going forward. Going forward, you say? Lord Liu Bei, let me ask you something. Just one thing. 
What is it that you fight for exactly? I have risen up to save people from suffering. I fight to end the chaos, to create an age of peace for all. Oh. Then allow me to ask one more. Just one more question. Do you really think you can achieve such noble ambitions serving under Cao Cao? What are you trying to say? Cao Cao walks a path of conquest, subjugating others by force. His ideals are the exact opposite of yours, Lord Liu Bei. Rule over the land cannot be achieved with such contrasting ambitions. Lord Cao Cao saved my life. I will not. No, I simply cannot abandon my debt to him and solely pursue my own ambitions. Your intentions are honorable, but every moment you hesitate, the people suffer. For the future of everyone, you must make your decision now. Right here and now. Sure. Chen Gong, why did you give Master Dong Cheng such an ambiguous reply? Considering the way you had been speaking these last few days, I thought you would be more than willing to oblige. Don't you think he should have been more cautious? The way he suddenly produced the document and openly discussed such dangerous topics was too careless, much too careless. The letter contained Ma Tang and Sun Tzu's names. If they have been recruiting warriors throughout the land to join their cause, their plan has most likely already been exposed. Yet, this is an assassination plot on Lord Cao Cao. If Master Dong Cheng is still safe, then perhaps Cao Cao is using Dong Cheng. He may be trying to smoke out all those who oppose him so we can wipe them out all at once. Knowing that man, it is quite possible. That would mean Cao Cao knows about everyone whose name is on that letter. If we had simply joined the cause, it would have been extremely dangerous. We should use Dong Cheng. If we hand him over to Cao Cao while feigning ignorance, we can gain an advantage. The more trust we can win, the more moves we will have at our disposal. At any rate, there are a lot of names on that letter. Even if our names are not included, Dong Cheng has most likely begun making his move. We must capture him. Quickly! Quickly indeed! I agree. If you can prevent Lord Cao Cao's assassination, he will certainly repay the kindness. That is when you can determine the road you are to take. Cao Cao likely has a plan in place. In order to stay one step ahead of him, our best move would be to capture Dong Chung. Of course, we cannot do anything until we ascertain Dong Chung's whereabouts. We must gather any information about him we can. Brother, do you really intend to follow Chen Gong's advice? Though, no. in a roundabout way, he's essentially suggesting that you betray Cao Cao. 
Although it is true that Cao Cao's ideals differ from mine. And as Chen Gong says, we cannot achieve anything under our current circumstances. By being disloyal this once, the road to benevolence may open. I have decided that I will trust his advice. You're really gonna listen to that suspicious cur? <laughs> you really are the gullible one. But I guess that's just part of your... character. We have received information that there is a doctor who is familiar with Dong Cheng, and that they live somewhere in this vicinity. Hmm. They might very well have information we can use. Let us go and pay this doctor a visit. The doctor? Oh, he is out at the moment. He headed in that direction. I think he said he was off to gather materials for medicine. Ah, stay, stay away! You don't want to eat me, I promise! I'd most definitely taste a lot more! Thank you for saving me there. I only wish there was some way I could repay the favor. Don't mention it. I am simply glad that you are safe. By the way, you don't happen to know about Master Dong Chung's plans, do you? Uh, what? What? Just who are you? Worry not. I am merely one who has similar ambitions. I was given orders to ask you for detail. I see. Now I understand. Well then, I'll tell you everything I know. So we've obtained a clue regarding Dong Chung's whereabouts, yet we still require more information. Success! Word of this is sure to go around. Hmm. A surprise attack! I will admit that you caught even me off guard! Ignominious defeat. I must apologize to Master Yuan Chao. Something has fallen from that person's pocket. Hmm. A secret letter from Dong Chao. I shan't let you down. I can more than hold my own on the battlefield. 
Uh, victory! I simply love the sound of that word. Oh? We've ascertained Dong Chung's whereabouts? Now we should be able to head out and capture that dog. Discretion is the better part of valor. Oh, it appears that something has been dropped here. These are instructions for the assassination plot. I can more than hold my own on the battlefield. Victory! I simply love the sound of that word. Hmm. Master Zhang Liao, we've ascertained Dong Cheng's whereabouts. Very well then, let's hurry to his location. We must confirm whether the rumors concerning the plot to assassinate Lord Cao Cao are true. I will eliminate you! As part of a plan contrived by Cao Cao, Chen Gong was made Liu Bei's strategist. From this time onward, Chen Gong and Liu Bei were to fight numerous battles together, working under Cao Cao. Before long, the two had grown to share the same feelings of resentment toward Cao Cao. Meanwhile, Cao Cao was preparing to face off against his eternal rival, Yuan Shao. Large shifts in power were beginning to take place, as if the land itself was seeking its next ruler. Meanwhile, in secret, Chen Gong had been plotting to further his ambitions.
As a reward for successfully protecting Cao Cao from the rebels, Lord Liu Bei has been given more power. It is time for us to make our move for the sake of achieving our ambitions. As we have done with Dong Cheng, we must seek others to join our cause. We should approach those whose names appear on the letter and ask that they become our allies. It is true that Ma Teng and Sun Tzu's names were included. What can we say to Cao Cao to avoid suspicion? Brother, a scout has made a report. An army led by Sun Tzu in Zhang Dong is advancing on Shu Chung. But the majority of Cao Cao's forces have been deployed to Guangdu. So that's the chance they were waiting for, those petty opportunists. Well, well. To think they would strike from there, that gives us quite the opportunity ourselves. While avoiding their attack, we can set the scene for negotiations. Avoid their attack? If only it were that easy. Those dogs are coming to capture Shu Chung. And it's going to be hard stopping them, seeing how few men we've got. The enemy is far from home. They'll eventually need to stop and reform their ranks. That's when we must charge, rendering them immobile. I'd ask that you all simply follow my orders diligently. Lord Sun Tzu's surprise attack is actually beneficial for us as well. Let us try to make our move before Cao Cao realizes what's going on. Defensive battle. There's nothing flashy about that. Well, I'll just do what I can to stand back. The time is now! Launch the ambush! Scatter Leo Bay's forces! Why is the enemy behind us? This is bad. Although simple and not much to look at, the enemy's defenses are strong. Yet, we must break through and open a path by whatever means. <laughs> Looks like we've successfully opened a path. Now then, let us continue our advance on Shoshu. <laughs> Success! Word of this is sure to go around. This area is now under the control of my leadership. Have already units. Head to Shoshu. Rendezvous with our lord. And together with him, display the bravery of the Sun clan. Ah! 
If any more troops are sent to show Shun, it will be troublesome indeed. We must eliminate the enemy quickly, very quickly. We shall defend this position. Do not allow a single enemy through. Die, however. I can more than hold my own on the battlefield. <laughs> Now enemy 
reinforcements will no longer be able to come to show shooting. We are one step, one step closer for achieving our castle blockade. Victory! I simply love the sound of that word. Good work. You're amazing. The units we have summoned are yet to arrive. At this rate, our advance will most likely be delayed. Yet we cannot afford, simply cannot afford to sit on our laurels. We must quickly identify and remove the source of our delay. is sure to go around. <laughs> 